Well, welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks, and a great week. Be impeccable with your word. Manifest your true intentions. Regardless of what language you speak, your intent will be manifested through the word. What you dream, what you feel, and what you really are will be manifested through what you say each and every day. Look at us. Let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 405, Nasdaq's up 326, S&P's are up 68, gold contract down $12.60, trading at 1856 an ounce. We got silver down 43 cents, 23 dollars 41 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up 356, 91 dollars 91 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year down seven ticks, trading 125 24. 30 year for full point at 150 24. And king dollar, king dollars down 391 ticks, trading 95 982. Euro out here at 113. The yen is at 115.63. And the British pound is at 135 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the S&Ps? Let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you're in a market that wants higher price, but you don't have buyers, folks. So the bottom line is that I suspect this bounce here, we're up six and a half bucks. Now, what we also had is this. When we came down on Friday, uh, bottom line, you had volume out there of uh, 153 million. Well, the highs of all these lows that we had had volume of 252, 186, 149, and 164. Yesterday, you can see what happened. You come down with 123, rejected the highs of the lows. Okay, so that's saying, okay, so that's the lower end of this consolidation right now. The way we're going up today, however, right, you are going up on air, okay? Um, big price spike, no volume. So I suspect we'll see, let's see, it's Tuesday. We can get to the top of this range by Friday. And then, uh, let's see, so, yeah, we'll see how this shakes out. We get there Friday, you still got another full week. Actually, we have the 22nd, the market's closed, I believe. My point is this. I suspect you're going to go up to the top of the range again, give it up on price, and we're going to be right back downtown. We go into the NDX 100. We take a look at the three Qs. What do you have with the three Qs? Three Qs right now are trading up $8. Same contraction of volume. Uh, now, what is intriguing is this. If I'm going to bring up the NASDAQ composite, I'm going to show you something that is pretty cool, actually. So the NASDAQ composite has been the weakest link out here, right? That being said, what you're going to see is the volume contraction yesterday in the composite was pretty dramatic. So that's getting stronger. You can see what we did. We did 4.2 billion shares versus 5.2 on Friday and versus what you were going into, which is 5.7, 5.1, 5.8. So the bottom line is that we do have more buyers now are less sellers. Yeah, that's a better way of putting it. We have less sellers inside of the NASDAQ composite. Gold, gold contract out here. That baby ran up to 1881, uh, 1880. Uh, bottom line, gave it up in price. Uh, let me make sure I know, GC, there it is. Okay, so we're trading 1857. Now, so your swing point up here, okay, it was 18, 1882.50. We had 1881.60. Um, this is going to be a little tricky here, man, because what's going on, let me see, 1852. Well, it's still outside, it's still in the higher range. Right now, it's still in the higher range. So we'll see uh, if it can build cars up at this area, or we go over to the dollar index. What you're going to look at here and say, okay, so what we had with the dollar, the dollar basically came off this low of 95, 137. You know, runs up yesterday to 96, 435. Now, you're only backing down slightly here. So when I'm looking at gold at the top of the range, and I'm looking at the dollar, I'm gonna see, I'm, it almost looks like, hey, man, this thing wants to try to run once again and meet, meet me higher for the last high. And we'll see if that's the case. Notes and bonds, bottom line. 
You get the 10 year on an ABC structure on the way down. Um, you know, we'll see if that gets fulfilled. It's approximately 124. Right now, this note and bond market is building cars for lower price, folks. You know, we've been here four days. You come down with, with volume. The volume's contracting today. You know, we first we hit a low. Okay, so we hit a low with 3.1 million contracts. That low was uh, 125.17. Uh, today, you're hitting that low uh, with 1.5 million contracts. What that sets up, that's, uh, that's telling me it's going to be a bounce again. Uh, that's on the shorter term basis. Longer term basis, man, don't be buying those notes and bonds. That's the real bottom line. Um, oil. So oil, bottom line, <coughs> pulls back 360. Guess what? <laughs> this is not, oil's not done, man. You know, this is like... This is a pullback on light volume. We went topside with 554,000 contracts. We're pulling back with 401. You know, that's just saying higher prices coming at us once again. Some of the higher volume equities out here in a low volume market today is you get uh, Virgin Galactic is up 250. Uh, that's back to uh, its IPO price, which is $10. It's $10.68. You have uh, MoneyGram up a buck seventy. Nvidia is up twenty two bucks. You get Apple up three and a half bucks. AMC is up a buck thirty. Roboblox up three ninety two. Uh, let's go to Nvidia because I suspect there's going to be no juice, your price juice, but no volume juice in the way up. Well, look at that. No, we do, we do. Yeah, this is pretty cool. <laughs> you know, it's going to be interesting here, man. See, this will be really cool to understand. What had happened, if you remember last week, let's, let me look at the SMHs. The SMHs failed on an ABC structure on the way up. And, you know, bottom line, yeah, the SMHs are dying on the vine. So you're up $14 in the SMHs. You're, this is dying on the vine, though, man. You know, you're going into uh, 11 million shares. You've you done 4.6. It's probably going to do 5 million shares. That's saying that uh, forget that ABC structure on the way up inside those uh, SMHs. It's going up right now in light volume. We'll see what it, uh, how it tests those levels. But I expect you to test and you're going to back down. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading up 401. NASDAQ is up 327. S&P is up 67. Then we come back with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. We are going to be riding that wave.